here today with uh, head coach Allison Lawrence, senior Paige Clark. Paige was named to the all-tournament team at the Ellison Invitational. Coach, let's start with you. You talked about uh, scheduling teams for this tournament that would challenge you like a Big Sky team would. So mm -hmm. what did you think of the teams that came in and the two-in-one results? Really proud of the results. I thought it was a great tournament um, start to finish. I didn't I wish we had had a different finish, um, but I think we were challenged in ways that we will be all of our conference um, in all of our conference games, and I think got to if you look at the complete weekend, got to see a lot of the depth of our roster come in and um, see a lot of people just be tested. So I think it was great, great scenarios we got to be in and kind of fight through and different obstacles in each match um, and have a ton of success. And if you would have told me in the beginning when I was scheduling this like years ago that we'd be two and one in a weekend like that on paper, I would have been really happy. So I am very happy. <laughs> nice, I like it. Paige, to you, double digit kills in all three matches, you get to name to the all tournament team. How kind of special is it for you to play at home here in your last year at Montana? Well, I mean, it's pretty awesome. Just there's like fans. I've been here since my freshman year that I'm saying like, I love you to them after games now. <laughs> and I met them three years ago. Like it's super awesome just to being able to play in front of them and just enjoy this moment. And I don't know, I, I don't really focus on how I play. Like we played really well as a team. So I just really liked that. And it's just special to play that well here anywhere in that moment. <laughs> Paige, just how would you kind of describe the three games, you know, two wins, one loss, and just what was clicking for the team, kind of the kickoff second week of the season? Um, I think it went really well. There were moments, obviously, like where we were down, but I feel like we fought really well to come back. And our, like, shout out, like our bench is super well. Like when I would come off, like I'd have every player coming up to me, like telling me what they're seeing. And just having those like players who you're not necessarily seeing on the court, like having such a big impact off the court, like that's huge. And that's going to carry like for the rest of conference and preseason. And I just think that's like, my biggest takeaway that I like about our team right now. What are your thoughts on some of these tournaments, right, to kind of get the season going? Like, how is it nice to kind of have that, like, you know, conference tournament style, but, you know, to start the season? It's super fun. It's exciting to hear, like, these teams are kind of what we're going to hear, like, see in conference. And then GCU, like, playing in that big crowd is going to, is like, that was our first game. Then our last game is going to be like that at Montana State. So I feel like it's really preparing us for conference. And it's just super exciting to see how we're going to perform at that level. And Allison, in terms of like harnessing the success and momentum, just what do you want to see this group do going forward after having a two-on-one weekend? Like you said, you'd be very happy. A few years ago, they got it done. Just how, what do you want to see from them, I guess, kind of going forward because of this tournament? Yeah, I think I want to see them continue to be them. Um, this team is very gritty in ways that I think you don't know until you get into kind of the fray with them. Um, but they're very gritty and very determined and um, gritty learners. So anytime we're in a bad situation, we're learning through that really well. So I just want them to continue to be them. And then I think, you know, as a coach, you talk about belief a lot and trust and all these kind of unclear, hard to pinpoint concepts and values. But I think this team has a ton of belief. Um, and even in the Boise State match, when we would kind of start slow and then end up with these gaps in scores, you see us rally to really close the gap at the end of sets. And I just think that, that there's so much unity and belief. And um, even with what Paige said about how the bench is working with those playing on the court, I just think it's a, it's a really big team effort. And so that is something we can't lose sight of as you sort of get tested more and more um, and some of your wariness about just season um, continuing and the obstacles growing continues. So I think we will, we will do that, but I'm excited to see them do that. Coach, what's it like trying to schedule a tournament yeah. here? And what, what did you think about how it, you know, you're obviously not doing it this year. So like uh, of how it all turned out and the results and how everything went from that perspective. Yeah, this was actually my favorite home tournament we've ever had. Um, like last year was exciting and it was a fun one to kind of pinpoint because we had ranked teams here, but I think this was the perfect level of team and the perfect kind of spread in terms of types of teams we could bring here and then just really enjoyable coaches and I think a really sort of restful schedule for us. Sometimes you have to accommodate in ways that make you have it kind of have the schedule you don't want, even though you're hosting. And so you kind of bend over backwards sometimes to get teams here and all these things. I think Missoula is expensive for teams, especially like Southern Mississippi out of region. And so 
we were able to build a schedule that I think gave us advantages and does the things you want it to do when you're the home team. And so I was really happy with how that came together. Um, and scheduling is a nightmare. Just any, if you ask any coach in any <laughs> sport, really, I think. And so I think it came together well and we got the most out of it. So I was happy. And then just team wise, like what is mm -hmm. having a non conference kind of tournament yeah. do for you as opposed to just playing maybe, you know, the game on a Thursday, Sunday, or whatever? Yeah, I think it prepares you, like Paige said, for the conference tournament. Our, our conference tournament plays back to back days. Um, so you have to get ready to play again the next day. You have to scout kind of very quickly, prepare very quickly, and mentally shift to another team. So I think it mimics the end of the season in a really great way. Um, and it just allows, I think we have a team that's old and young, inexperienced together, you know, a lot of new players playing beside each other, and yet we have a lot of old experience. And so we need to play matches. I think we learn the most in matches. So the most matches we can play in a weekend, um, the better. So did you think kind of the, some of the younger players handled playing, you know, that many matches in a row? And then I guess just uh, how are you feeling about the squad moving forward? Um, I think they did really well. Like, you wouldn't even believe that the freshmen or, like, our freshmen, they're so, like, knowledgeable. Knowledgeable? I don't know if that's the right word. But, like, they're so good at talking to us. And, like, Delaney, she comes in and just, like, serves in, like, huge moments and does such a good job. And she's just been so awesome on the court. And they celebrate us all in, like, super awesome ways. And so we're meshing really well with them. And then the team, like, I'm sure a lot of us were nervous about how different it was going to be, but it seems like we've all been together for years, and it's just been going really well, I think. A uh, question for both Alice and Paige. Alice, we'll start with you. You know, you got North Dakota State back-to-back. -back. Mm -hmm. You play them one day, win or lose. You have to play them again the next day. Mm -hmm. What are the advantages and disadvantages to kind of seeing a team having an outcome and then having to see them again the very next day? Yeah, it's – reminds me of COVID. <laughs> that was the schedule. Um, and it's it's simple in the sense that, you know, you're scouting one team. Um, but like you said, you're kind of getting ready to scout them again in ways where you're trying to make adjustments. They know more about you. It, it just, it I think it puts more pressure on your in-match adjustments for sure. Um, because you just know more about each other. So I'm excited to kind of have a simple week in that sense and not prepare for three teams, but prepare for one and find rest in some of those moments while continuing to push ourselves physically. So it's simple. We like that. Um, and they're a very good team. And so I expect these to be long kind of um, point for point battles. And so we're looking at potentially two five set matches and back to back. And so hopefully that'll mimic conference tournament uh, stuff too. Same thing for you, just kind of as from a player's uh, point of view. Well, I think it's super exciting because you get to like learn what the other team is, and then the first day you're kind of just learning, and then the next day it's kind of like conference, how you know everything about that team. And so I feel like it really prepares us for how conference is going to be, and you get to fix mistakes that you made against them the first time or keep doing things that worked for you and just sort through information together as a team, and I think that's super awesome. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> they didn't ask me to talk about you, which I'm so glad. Thank goodness. <laughs> I would have been like, <laughs> you started crying. I'm out of here. <laughs> uh, we're not near senior weekend. No. Yet.